Many people have suffered the violence of extremist and terrorist groups over the past few months. And I want to emphasize that I and my office condemn uh, acts of terrorism wherever they occur unreservedly. There can be no justification uh, of this blind violence which uh, lashes out against ordinary people. I will now turn to the geographic sections of my statement, emphasizing the urgency of two situations. Uh, Syria, where the horror of eastern Ghouta uh, needs to be uh, spoken of time and again, and in Myanmar, where the most recent reports gathered by my office point to the continuation of ethnic cleansing in Rakhine State. Mr. President, as this council session opened, the conflict in Syria entered a new phase of horror. In addition to the staggering bloodshed in eastern Ghouta, which was discussed in urgent debate last week, escalating violence in the province of Idlib is placing some two million people in danger. In Afrin, the offensive by Turkey also threatening large numbers of civilians. Uh, people in government-controlled Damascus are also suffering a new escalation of ground-based strikes. And the offensive against extremist groups has also resulted in large-scale loss of civilian life. 